Hello, guys. Welcome, everybody. How are you? Hello, guys. Welcome. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I am very good. Thank you, teacher. And how you? how do you feel today? I feel great. I feel good. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, teacher. Yes. Is this the last one class? No, we still got class on Monday. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, wait a couple of minutes to see the other students come in the class. Yes. We're going to look at a video to review. Are you ready? School for a long time. Are you time. ready? Ali. Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Hello. In this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with four. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. All right, now what we're going to do is move forward and look at the next activity. Instructions, read the following sentences and choose between for and since depending on the context. Pam was in Central America, El Salvador, for a month 
last year. You're going to select for or since, depending on the sentence. Are you ready? Yes, we are ready. Let's do it. You will have five minutes. Hola. Hello. Hello, hello. No, vamos una y una. Voy, empiezo. Pan was a Central America for a month last year. I've been a college student for almost four years. Okay. Oh, María o oh, Roberto. Lo siento, es que no me cargaba. Ah, ok. okay. Sí, no, acabo, de eh, acabo de entrar. ¿En qué sección están? En la 512. Ah, okay. Esperamos, esperamos entonces. Sería la tres, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Okay. Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Ok. Eh, Quieren sigo para mientras. I haven't gone to party for a long time. Number five. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. Okay. Number six, my parents has my parents have been on vacation since Monday. Okay. Natalie was ended a Danny for six months. Eight Pat and Valerie have been best friends since high school. Okay. Number nine we have been in class since 5.30 p.m. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, Bang was in Central America for a month last year. I've been a college student for almost four years. Number three, Hiroshi has been at work since 6 a.m. Number four, I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Just lay in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Number seven. Natalie was in change to Danny for six months. Number eight. 
Pete and Valerie have been best friends since high school. We have been in class five and twenty three, Amy. Ah, perdón, era Cynthia. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Lo practicamos una vez más. Va, ah, está bien. Mm, bueno. Si usa el inicio. Eh, eh, va. Pan was in Central America for a month last year. I have been a college student for almost four years. Georgie has been at work since 6 a.m. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Just live in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was ended to Danny for six months. Uh, Renumero. Eight, eight. Uh -huh. uh, Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. We have been in class since 6, 20 p.m. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Okay. Si quiere, empiece Robert para que, porque um, <laughs> Pan was in Central America for a month, a month last year. Okay. Maria. I have been a college student for almost four years. Okay. Georgie has been at work since 6 a.m. I haven't gone party for a long time. Josh lived in Venezuela for two years as a kid. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. But I and Valerie have been best friends since High school. We have been in class since 5 3 p.m. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Otra vez. Sí. Pan was in Central America for a month last year. I've been a college student for almost four years. Hiroshi has been at work since six eight. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Josh lived live in Venezuela. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Are you ready? Are yes, you right. ready? All right. Let's look at the first one. Number one, Marta Menjibar. Pam was in Central America for a month last year. Excellent. Excellent. Number two, Monica. Yeah, uh, I've been a college student for almost four years. Perfect. The next one, David. David, number three. Okay. Hiroshi has been 
at work since 6, 6 a.m. Very good. Roberto, continue. I haven't gone to a party for a long time. Very good. Select somebody. Um, Griselda Menjivar. Griselda Menjivar. Yo creo que Griselda tiene problemas con el internet. Elijamos a otra persona. Uh, Reina Acosta. Reina Acosta. Eh, creo que Reina Costa también tiene problemas con el internet. Seleccionemos a alguien más. Hola, hola. Hello. Ah, hi, Reina. Uh, continue, please. Uh, number, teacher. Number four. Number four. No, no, no. Okay. Number, number six. Okay. My parents have been on vacation since Monday. Since Monday, very good. Um, we're gonna do it together, guys, because it's taking too much time going one by one. Um, Natalie was engaged to Danny for six months. Pat and Valeria have been best friends since high school. We have been in class since 5.30. The babies have cried for 30 minutes. Now, what we're going to do for the next activity is using the pronunciation t and d. T and d. Listen, please. Answering the following questions. Use it in your. Hi, in this lesson, we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and d sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. Hi, in this lesson we will work on pronunciation in order to sound natural by linking final t and t sounds in verbs with vowels that follow. Listen and practice. Final t and d sounds in verbs are linked to the vowels that follow them. Have you cooked lunch yet? Yes, I've already cooked it. Have you ever tried Cuban food? Yes, I tried it once in Miami. Now, I want you to practice answering the following questions. Use it in your responses. Pay attention to the linked sound. Make sure you record your response. Follow the example. Have you ever cut your hair? Yes, I've cut it. No, I haven't cut it. All right. Now, for this activity, what I would like for us to do is right here at the bottom in the discussion forum, you're going to write questions. Sentences, no, I haven't tasted goat cheese. Yes, I have tried Korean food. No, I haven't brought my dictionary today. Yes, I have read the latest HP book. Any questions? You will have five minutes, five minutes to complete the activity. Okay, okay teacher. All right, let's do it. Ready? Let's go.
like uh, it's raining man <laughs> but no man <laughs> okay ah, okay <laughs> okay <laughs> Hi, Monica. Hi, Marta. Hi, Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. Okay. Uh, okay. Only the answers, but the questions in the video, right? Mm, right. Right. The first, have you ever tasted what cheese? I don't have it. Taste it. Taste it. Yes. Okay. Y ya lo estás haciendo en la plataforma, no? Yeah. O en el cuaderno. Eh, lo puedo poner en la plataforma. ¿Te gusta? Ah, uh, vaya. Para, ajá, para que compartas la pantalla. Ah, es que lo tengo en la computadora. Esta parte. Ok, entonces si quieres la comparto yo y, y lo vamos haciendo. Ah, ok. Solo. Chivo. Good. Ay. Yeah. Es que no, le, no entiendo esa pregunta, sinceramente. Eh, ¿Alguna vez tú has probado queso de cabra? Ah, ok. Sí. Entonces es no. Uh -huh. No, no. No, ok. Entonces sería no. I, no. I haven't. Right, I haven't. Mm -hmm. Right, I haven't tasted. Tasted. Uh -huh. Tasted. Tasted. It. Uh -huh. tasted. 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 Por ti, ok. Mónica Cartagena, ok. Solo las respuestas vamos a escribir, ¿verdad? Right, yeah. mm. ok. ¿Cómo quedaría la primera? Eh, ninguno de los tres ha probado queso de cabra, entonces sería no. I haven't tasted a good cheese. Haven't tasted. Tasted it. 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 Solo it. que uh -huh. se pronuncia. No, no, no. It. 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 Oh. En vez... Ajá. It. Solo que se pronuncia taste it de una sola, eh, eh, de uno solo. What? What? Con G. Espérame, espérame. What es saco, pero este es got con G. ¿Por qué? ¿Así? Ajá, exacto, sí, porque es cabra. El otro es, ah. entiendo yo, que es saco. Ah, ok. Entonces, está bien. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. O sea, está bien. Ajá, what cabra. Ok. Tasted it. What cheese? Cheese. Uh -huh. What cheese. Eh, pero no sería muy repetitivo como ponerle así como 
Eso, porque como ahí estamos diciendo, como no, no he probado queso de cabra, cuando este, con, hasta ahí sería, no, no lo he probado. Ah, también. Uh -huh. Ajá, eso sería como el contractador. Uh -huh. Hasta ahí sería. No sé. Ah, entonces sí, pero... le borro God. Ok. God cheese, ajá. Ok. Uh -huh. Two. Have you ever tried Korean food? ¿Has probado comida coreana? Uh -huh. mm, pues ¿Yo? no. Como, ajá, sí, sinceramente no. Lo más cerca que está de China, entonces, es de China, entonces. <risa> no, and me, you me, me too, <risa> me too. <risa> Okay. Okay. No. Ni, uh -huh. ni a japonés. <laughs> a menos que Saba. Saba qué es? Hap, eh, Chinese. Ah, vaya, pues no. Chinese. Ajá. Eh, Japanese is. Ay, ¿cómo se llama esta restaurante? Benihana. ¿Panda? Benihana ah. is Japanese. Uh -huh. Mm. Bah, pero entonces, entonces, ¿qué le ponemos? No. Only Mónica. <risa> ¿Es, ¿Es posible? No. I haven't. Quería. Try Korean food, but. Mónica. Sí. <risa> but Mónica. Try it. The food. De Korean food, algo así. <laughs> right? Pero a ver. Try, yes, try in Korean food. Tal vez este, una cosa, este, tanto en la primera como en la segunda, este, no se ha puesto el como apóstrofe, creo, que, que es lo, lo de la contracción de Haven. Ajá, uh -huh. de Haven. En ambas. Haven okay. y apóstrofe. Fíjate que. Chica, necesito copiarlo y pegarla porque no ah. tengo, no, no sé dónde está en el, en el... ah, oh, bueno, no. pero en el, ajá, ¿Y tú? Ajá. gracias. <risa> <risa> y siempre la copio y la pego, fíjate, no la había descubierto. <risa> ok, ya, ok, ajá. y coreana es con K. Es cierto. I'm sorry. sorry. Uh, yes. Sí, ¿verdad? Number two. Sí, es cierto. Sí. Have you Orange. broke Google Dictionary today? Today in this. Nobody Como... use a dictionary. <laughs> Let's check. Google. Google Translate. <laughs> Entonces, um, no, no, I haven't we, oh, no, I haven't. Mm -hmm. I haven't broke, broke? broke it. All right, I am. Trabajo. Es el pasado de bring. ¿De, de qué? No. No es de bring, de traer. Mm. Solo que es trajo, o sea que sería el pasado. Creo que así va. Sí. No, I haven't brought it. It. En try nos hizo falta el it, creo yo. Creo. En vez de Korean. Korean food, ajá. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. 
you are finished. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move forward then. If you are finished, let's go ahead and move forward. Now, for the next activity, I would like for us to continue and move on to the final exam. On the final exam, what we are going to do is look at the listening activity. You are going to listen to this activity. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct information. One. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone. I'm meeting her for lunch here. Her name is Emily Black. All right. What does she look like? Let's see. She's about 25, I guess. Look over there. Is she the one with the long black hair? Oh, uh, no, that's not her. Emily's fairly short and has... Oh, I think I see her. Look, she's waving at you. Two. Sarah, did you hear that Judy has a new boyfriend? No, I didn't. What's he like? Well, his name's Steve, and he's very nice. And he's tall, really tall. He's over six feet tall. What color is his hair? His hair is blonde and curly. He sounds very handsome. He is, and he's the same age as Judy. So he's only 19? Yes, that's right. Three. All right, Mr. Brown. Tell me again what happened here. Thank you, officer. I told you, the man took my wife's purse from the back of her chair. We were at this table. What did the thief look like? I told you, he was elderly. He was maybe in his 70s. And about how tall was he? You mean, how short was he? He was short, only about five feet tall. What else do you remember? Well, he had on baggy pants and a red T-shirt. He also had a white beard. Four. Hi, I'm new here. My name's Sharon. I'm Charlie. Welcome to our school party. Do you want something to eat? Not right now, thanks. Actually, I'm looking for AJ and Penny. I need their phone number. Which ones are they? They're that good-looking couple sitting on the couch. Oh, I see them. Thanks. And one more thing. Is Clara here? I need to ask her a question about her homework for tomorrow. Let me see. Oh, yes, I see her. She's wearing jeans and a red sweater. She's standing over there talking to Tom. All right. Number one, Emily is short and in her 30s. Emily is medium height and in her 20s. Or Emily is fairly short and about 25. What is your answer? Emily is a fairly short and about 25. Perfect. All right. We're going to go ahead, work in pairs, and complete the activity. Ready? Let's go. Hey, okay. okay. Por si se están preguntando si subí el, el ejercicio anterior, ya lo subí. Podemos practicar la pronunciación. Vaya. Um, number two. Is, Steve is really tall. Uh, has curly blonde hair. Number three, the thief was short, had a white bear, bear, beard or beard. Had a white beard. Number four, AG, AJ, and Penny. Are the attractive couple sitting on the couch? Number one, Emily is fairly short and about 25. Number two, Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. The thief was short, had a white beard, and was 
elderly. Number four, AG and Penny are the attractive couple. Sitting, sitting on the coast. Alela uno. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Steve is really tall and has curly long hair. Number three, and Steve was short, had a white beard and was elderly. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. De nuevo. Okay. Emily is fairly short and about 25. Number two, Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. The Steve was short, had a white beard and was uh, elderly. Hey, G and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Number one, Emily is fairly short. And about 25. Uh, Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Number three, Steve was short, had a white beard, and was elderly. Four. AJ and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. Entonces, sí, volvemos a... Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. Finished. Okay. Finished. Let's check. Number two. David Ernesto. Number two, Dalila Santos, Dalia Santos. Steve is really tall and has curly blonde hair. Very good. Number three, Roberto. The thief was short, had a white beard and was Elderly. Perfect. Number four, Monica. 
AG and Penny are the attractive couple sitting on the couch. 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 Perfect. Thank you. Now we are going to look at the next one. Complete the conversations. Complete the conversations. Use the present perfect of the verbs given in brackets. Instrucciones. Complete las conversaciones. Use el presente perfecto de los verbos en pre paréntesis. For example, have you been to any good movie lately? Have you been to any good movie lately? You are going to finish the activity and then we will check in pairs. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. No. All no right. Teacher. Okay, let's go. We are going to, yeah, David is going to be with number one. Hi. Okay, let's go. Yes. Esa ya la finalizaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Okay. Ah, pues igual, ¿verdad? Una cada uno. Ok. Está. Number uh, one. How have you been to any good or movie lately? B. Yes, I have already seen three films this month. True. Has he ever eaten that food before? B. No, he has never had it in his life. Okay. Part two, number one. I live in in Boston for five years. I love it every minute I was there. The number two, my wife and they, I have come to Costa Rica every year since 20 well. mm -hmm. Number two, Patrick has seen three films this month. Now. Okay, repeat please, please. Again. Okay. Yes, okay. And in America, I have you been to any gold mobile lady? Yes, I have already, already, already seen three films this month. Number two, has he ever eaten Thai food before? B, no, he has never had it in his life. Number two, number one. I lived in Boston for five years. I love every minute I was there. And number two, my wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year since 2001. And then number three, that he has started in Portuguese for a long time. He is called speaking now. Okay. Who is the star? Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Number one, have you been to any good movie lately? And number B, B yes, I have a really seen 
the field the much. B. No, he has never had it in his life. Creo que hizo falta el number two letter A, ¿verdad? De verdad. Yes. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> bueno, a ver, number two. <laughs> Has he ever eaten Thai food before? Ok, letter B. No, he has never had it in his life. And the part two is to read the sentence and choose the correct answer. And the number one, I live in the Boston for five years. I love every minute I was there. Number two, my wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year since 2001. Okay. And number three, Patrick has studied Portuguese for a long time. He is a good speaker now. Okay. And 2001, podría ser 2001 or 2001. Okay, hola. <risa> eh, bueno, había entendido que se puede decir de dos en dos cifras o, one, o de Townsend, eh, así como lo dijo María José. 2001 podría ser entonces. Ajá, lo que no estoy segura. Ya no sería 2001. Ajá, es que yo creo que sí tendría que ser con el Townsend, que sería mil, porque... Si lo partimos así, no estaríamos diciendo la parte de mil, siento yo. No sé. Bueno, lo más seguro es 2001. Ajá, sería 2001. Ajá, pero indicar lo, de, lo del mil. Ajá, 2001, 2001, 2002, 2000, ajá, 1001, uh -huh. sí. Sí, es bueno, así está más seguro. <risa> Por si sí, participamos. Yo también tenía una pregunta. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronunciaba en la número en la número one? Have you been to any cold movie? Literally, algo así. Literally, creo. Literally. 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 Okay. Thank you. La otra, vamos a ver qué otra. No creo que sí. Mi wife, every year. Sí, lo demás estamos bien, creo yo. ¿Es everybody finished o do you need more time? Finish. 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 Okay, let's check the first one. What is letter B? Seen. B seen. Very good. Seen. Yes, I have already seen three films. Number two. Has. Has. Has he. Very good. Has he. Number three. No, he has never had, had, had wow. it in his life. Number one, I lived in Boston for four. Four, five years. My wife and I have gone to Costa Rica every year. Yeah. And Patrick has studied Portuguese. Four. 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 Perfect. Perfect. All right, the last one, the last one. Read the following sentences and choose the correct word. Instrucciones, lea las siguientes oraciones y escoja la respuesta correcta. Ready? We're going to change groups. Ready. Ready. 
We're going to change groups. Let's go. Yes, all, all tired because it's Friday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, okay. I, um, begin, you are uh, the finish the exercise. See? Yes, and you? Yes. Okay, uh, let's go continue. Okay. Let's start. You first? Okay. Number one, my brother is in his 20 and goes to college in, in Arizona. Arizona. Okay, the number two, Jancy has short, strong, black hair and the blue eyes. Yes, number three, Phil's nephew is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. In the number four, has Martin ever missed and a parliament? Number five, how many times have you lost your cell phone? Okay, in the number six, have you ever drive a truck? Okay, uh, change the the number. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And number one, my brother is in his twenties and they go to the college in Arizona. Okay. Number two, Tracy has short, straight black hair and blue eyes. Number three, Phil Anu is a uh, is five feet. A and a dress wrong hair and mustache. Number four, has Martin ever missed an appointment? Five, how many times have you lost your cell phone? Number six, have you ever driven a truck? Okay, finish. Okay, finish. Just easy, easy, easy lemon, easy. I'm <laughs> easy. Yes, easy. <laughs> okay, one more time. Okay, let's go again. Okay. Uh, my brother is in his 20 and goes to college in Arizona. Clancy has short, strong, black hair and the blue eyes. Straight, 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 black hair. And number three, feels Nufi, Nufi, or Nefi, Nufi, is five feet eight and has dark brown beard and mustache. Four, has Martin ever missing an apartment? Uh, how many times have you lost your cell phone? And the number six, have you ever tried and true? Sorry, I can't hear you. Do you repeat the number six? Ah, okay. How do you ever drive a truck? Sure. Okay. Okay. Ready. <laughs> That is all. <laughs> it's easy. Where do eh, what? Is that your viendo? Donde estás tú? Sorry, I can't understand. Eh, que si está lloviendo por donde estás tú? Te... Ah, rain. Eh, ah, uh, como Five minutes ago, uh, dejó de llover. 
Ah, ya. ¿Cómo se diría? Sí, hace como cinco, diez minutos. Vamos a ver cómo se dice. Sería five minutes ago it stopped raining. Okay. I stop. And in your home? Eh, yes, in the in the one the one moment is heavy wearing. But it's Se calmó por decir así. Stop it. Yes. O sea, menos mal no se fue la luz. So. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finish. Finish. All right, let's check. Number one, my brother is in. in in his 20s. Number two, Tracy has has, has. Phil's nephew is. is is has Martin ever missed missed how many times have you lost your cell phone cell phone. Have you ever driven. driven 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 a truck? All right, awesome. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Remember that we will continue on Monday. Okay, okay teacher. teacher. The Monday right. is the last class. Correct. Monday is okay. the last class. Yes, we're finished Monday. Okay, thank you. All right. Goodbye. All right, guys. Have a good Bye. weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye.